Hello and welcome to another episode of our new Milesite How To series. This series is all about walking new Milesite users through the initial setup as well as many other basic processes that you might have to go through in the day to day running of your Milesite system. In this episode we will take you through one of the most important procedures of owning an IP camera system, updating firmware. Now with Milesite cameras there are two ways to update firmware, one is to use smart tools and the second is to log into the camera using a browser. So let's start with how to update firmware using smart tools. Before getting started with either approach, you'll first need to go to the Use IP forum, go to resources at the top of the page, then select either Milesite camera or MVR firmware from the side tab, and you'll be taken to a list of the latest firmware. Now, when you choose a firmware, you will at first be unable to download it. To download any of the Milesite firmware from our forum, you'll have to create an account and sign into the forum. It may be tempting to just search the web or use the firmware on Milesite's website, do not do this. The only way to get the correct firmware for our UK stock is from our forum. Once you've logged in, there is one final thing to point out. Milesite currently have three different camera firmware options and two MVR ones. Camera firmware A is for older Milesite models that we have never sold, so just ignore that. Camera firmware B is for all the current models we sell except the 4K bullet. And firmware C is obviously for the 4K bullet. With the MVRs, firmware A is for the Mini and 5000 series MVRs, the only exception is the 5032 model. Firmware B is for the 5032 model and all the 7000 and 8000 series MVRs. This information was all correct at the time of recording this video, but in the months and years after posting this there may be some new firmware options available. If you get confused, simply look at the description below the title of each firmware. Next you'll want to download the correct firmware and save it somewhere easy to find on your computer. Now you have access to the firmware file, we can open Smart Tools. Once open, click the IPC Tools button and you'll be taken to a list of all the cameras on your network. At the top of this page, you'll see four page options. To upgrade firmware, you'll need to click the Upgrade button. You should see a page similar to the one you just left, but the difference with this page is that there is a box at the bottom of the window for the firmware file. Click the Browse button next to this box and then navigate to the firmware file and select it. The file route should now be displayed in the box. Next you'll need to go to the left side of the Smart Tools window and click the drop down and select the corresponding firmware series. So in our example the firmware for our camera is 41.7.45.60 and so from the drop down you would select the 40 series option for cameras with firmware versions starting either 40 or 41. Once you've selected an option from the drop down you'll want to double check that you have the right camera selected and that the username and password are correct. Once you've confirmed both of these things simply click upgrade and the update will begin. When the upgrade starts a progress bar will appear and after waiting a few minutes the update should complete and a confirmation of a successful upgrade should appear in the box at the bottom of the window. Before we move on we should point out that this is for updating cameras, but the process for MVRs is exactly the same, the only difference being that when you open Smart Tools you'll want to click the MVR Tools button. Now when we return to the IPC Tools page you will see the camera we just upgraded disappear from the list. This is simply the camera rebooting and disconnecting from your network. Within 30 seconds it should reboot, come back online and reappear in the list. Now to check the upgrade has worked you will need to double click the camera or MVR you have just upgraded from the list. It should then bring the camera's login page up in a browser. Then simply log in, go to the configuration page and then click the maintenance tab. Once on this page you should see a list with the title System Upgrade. 
The second number down this list is the software version of the camera which should now read the same as the firmware you just upgraded the camera with. If the software versions are different, you may need to reboot the camera. To do this, simply scroll down the page and click the reboot button. After a few minutes or once you've seen the camera reappear in the smart tools camera list, you can search the IP address in the browser again, log in and go back to the maintenance page, you should now see the software is updated to the latest firmware. Now if you only have a handful of cameras or you are not using smart tools for some reason, you can update the camera or MVR's firmware using a browser, all you have to do is go back to the maintenance page, browse for the firmware file, open it and click the upgrade button. Once the firmware update is finished you can do the same as before and simply reboot the camera, log out of the camera, wait a few minutes, log back into the camera and then go back to the maintenance page and double check the software version of the camera now matches the firmware you've just installed. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already please do by clicking the use IP logo. Check the description below for links to our web shop, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. If you want more videos like this, click the playlist on screen now. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.